Today on Dirty Curdy's Customs. Welcome everybody to Dirty Curdy's Custom Auctions. Today we have a beautiful lot of cars. We have all makes and models, all years and eras. Now let's get down to the action. Today's lot of cars consist of a bunch of beauties, all shapes and sizes, whatever you may fancy. Also, surprise car at the end. Lot number one. Nine five four is a fifty-five Buick. Do I have any bidders? We'll start the bidding at three million dollars. Three million. Anybody? Three million. Three million. Three million. Three million. Is this, is this guy freaking crazy? Three million for that thing? Going once. Going twice. Sold. Next on the docket, we have item number three six four nine two. It is a 99 Lexus GS 300 with slight body damage. That's right, folks. Slight body damage. <laughs> All right, let's get this bidding started. Do I hear $10,000? 10000 Start the bidding at $10,000. 10, anybody? $10,000. $10,000? $10,000? $10, Bid over here. 10,000 sold to the man in the black hat. All right, all right. Next item on the list the <coughs> hidden gem, lot number 1987. Be prepared to feast your eyes on this. Yes, yes, the hidden gem, 1987 Toyota Supra. All right, you've all seen the hidden gem. Let's start the bidding. We'll start the bidding at one dollar, one dollar. Can I hear one dollar, one dollar, anybody? One dollar? One dollar? One dollar right here. I'll take it, one dollar, one dollar. Sold, sold right here for one dollar, one dollar. That concludes today's auction at Dirty Curdy's Customs Auction House. Okay, so as you can see, I picked up a 1987 Mark III Toyota Supra. This car is factory turbo, five-speed car, and my son is actually the one that wanted this car. He's a big Mark III Toyota Supra fan. So naturally, I found the cheapest, crappiest car I could that had a clean title, and I bought it. Okay, so the story on this car was supposedly it was a drift car uh, and it was two Jay-Z swapped. But right now, it's got nothing in it. I mean, no drivetrain, nothing. Came with a bunch of stuff in the back. So we'll have to go through all that and see. And then a bunch of garbage, some paraphernalia. Oh, let's see if we can... Even pop the hood. Where's the dang hood latch? Oh, it's missing the bottom dash piece. Huh, I thought I had that. Okay, well, let's see if we can get the hood popped. Okay, the hood isn't even bolted down. And I don't have anything to hold it down, but as you can see, we still got brakes, steering, and it looks like possibly motor mounts welded in for a 2J. So, and I believe we can get a 2J and the factory transmission with the 2J bell housing. And uh, it should bolt right up. This car's missing 
the transmission, the drive shaft, the rear diff is gone. So somebody was using this car and then they just pulled the whole drivetrain out of it, sold it for super cheap. But like I said, it's a clean title. It was a factory five speed, so we have the clutch and everything. And uh, other than that, it's just really rough, really rough. Also, it's a target top car, and this thing was like pristine condition. It was in really good shape. And when we bought it, we didn't even look at it, but somebody had the wrong bolts in the bottom side of it. And while we were towing it, oh, I must have this bolted down. <laughs> towing it on the highway, the freeway, top goes flying off, gets ran over by like three different cars, shoots over to the side. I was able to get <laughs> the top back, but yeah, it's kind of a bummer. So we're going to have to find a top for it. The car needs paint there's like somebody rattle canned it and just left all the masking tape on here we already started peeling some of the tape off the tail lights were just covered in tape i mean it was terrible i hit the pop on this i don't know if i can get this open and we can go through this car oh, let me see if i can pop that hatch all right so it looks like we got some dash pieces and maybe some pieces for the rear. I don't know if, like, this car looks like it was a gray interior car. Oh, no, it's blue. Blue interior, so. We got, looks like we got another center console. Another dash bezel. Windshield wipers. I don't know, pretty much all dash pieces. Hopefully, this is the piece that goes under the steering wheel. More console pieces, the piece that goes around the steering column. I don't know, just all that stuff. There's some kind of skid plate, it looks like. Glove box. Yeah, piece for the passenger side around the glove box. So we got no seats. Nothing like that, but if you guys seen in the auction, we got another car that we're going to use for the drivetrain. I'll show that to you right now. The Lexus with slight body damage, the GS 300. Picked this thing up for extremely, extremely cheap. Really cheap. Engine, super clean. We got a VVTi 2J. So the plan is to pull this out, throw it in the Supra. We got to find a trans, trans cross member, drive line, uh, rear diff, and then probably get an aftermarket standalone harness and computer. But anyways, this car, I just picked it up last night and it's a complete roach bucket, but it runs amazing. Um, it does have a bad alternator. We drove it like a hundred miles on the highway with one battery last night. I could not believe it. We brought, we put like four batteries in the trunk and uh, thinking that we're gonna have to switch the batteries out every half an hour. It literally lasted one battery the whole hundred miles home. Pretty crazy. It does have a little bit of an oil leak, valve covers leaking. No big deal. 174,000 miles, I think. I don't know. We don't care about that. Eventually, we're going to build a bottom end for this thing. These VVTi Lexus motors, the uh, 98 and newer, they have like the weaker bottom ends, the rods and stuff made out of a different metal. So we'll eventually get an older bottom end and throw it in there. So the plan is to start with this car. I think first we'll go take it for a drive and uh, see what see what this thing's all about. See, make sure it's a real good motor. I mean, I drove it home on the freeway, but I didn't really want to rot on it after driving that far. So I think I'm getting a battery charged up for it. We'll uh, take it out and uh, go for a little drive. I'm gonna wait for my boy to get home from school so he can go for a drive. He had only really seen this thing in the dark last night. But yeah, supposedly they hit a deer with this thing. I don't know. It drove good on the freeway though, but I really want to kind of put it through its paces today. And then we'll start pulling the motor and throw it down in the uh, old 
Supra, yeah. I think these Lexus wheels might fit on the Supra. I don't know, we gotta get some. Came with these wheels, two of them are cracked. I don't know, it's got, it, this thing's got big brakes on it. It looked like, I don't know where, but it was like one of the rotors was slotted and the rest of them are just normal. It must be this side. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things. I don't know, I thought this thing had like a slotted rotor somewhere. Yeah, now I'm not seeing it. Anyways, it's uh, 26 proof, or I don't know what that is. Anyways, shout out Tuna No Crust. Somebody was watching that YouTube channel, or I guess uh, Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Anyways... We just need like $15,000 worth of overnight parts from Japan, and this thing should decimate all. She runs. Sounds straight piped. Huh? All right, I'm driving first. We got every light in the dash is on. Don't even roll the windows down or anything. We got no altimeter. It'll kill the battery fat. Don't touch them. You should have just left it. Now we're gonna be in a heat box. Okay, so what I found best, this is like your dirty curdy tech tip of the day or whatever. What I found best is whenever you're doing a motor swap of any kind, whether it's like LS swap, coming swap, 2JZ swap, whatever, you wanna find a donor car that runs, okay? That way you know it, that the motor runs. Whenever you're going to buy like a motor or transmission or anything like that off of Marketplace or Craigslist um, and you can't hear it run or work, you should be buying it as a core, paying like a core price, okay? And also if you're going to buy something out of a junkyard, the cars that are like crashed or smashed probably have still have good engine and transmission they're there in the junkyard because they're crashed if you see a car in the junkyard that's like no body damage still looks really good it's probably in the junkyard because the motor or transmission's blown so that's just your little tech tip of the day and like buying a donor car for the engine um you know you can get the car like we paid 600 bucks for this car so we now we're, we'll pull the motor out and we'll part the car out and try to make our money back. So honestly, like selling the wheels and tires and transmission out of this thing is going to get our money back and we might possibly come out money ahead and that'll help us buy more parts for the swap. So that's your dirty, curdy tech tip of the day. This car actually drives pretty good.
runs pretty good, huh? Yeah. I think this motor is going to be just fine for that little super. Should work fine. Go down to the end of the road and uh, see if we can see if this thing does burnouts. I don't know if this transmission is strong enough to hold up. It shifts pretty good, but we'll see. Yep. Caden's driving it for the first time. Probably the last drive of this car before we tear it up. Get on your side of the road, son. Caden just got his learner's permit, so he's getting close to getting his driver's license. He's in driving school right now. He's still learning. This is his first taste of a 2JZ car. Woo! You can hear the brakes, the brakes are just shot on this car. Don't use your blinkers, you're gonna kill the battery. We got no alternator, so it's pretty bad. We could lose battery power at any time. I, I'm actually pretty surprised though, this car's a little ripper, it runs good. I don't wanna beat on it anymore without getting, uh, without doing a oil change, but. Yeah, slow down on this corner. Yikes, the brakes are loud. Anyways, that's the Lexus. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, next time you see this thing, we'll be pulling the motor out and putting it in the Supra. Hopefully we'll have some more parts for the Supra. So uh, we'll see you guys next time on Dirty Curdy's Customs. limiter been in my zone Feel it still in my spirit, I've been on my own Still just living my legend till my day is gone